This week on the show, artist and photographer Kelly Sedovic. I'm photographer Brian Fisher. And I'm model Roxanne Kelly. And this is Twip Glam. Welcome back to Twip Glam, this week in photography's Glamour podcast. Each week, we try to bring you a new photographer, makeup artist, model, or clothing designer and give you examples of their work to inspire your own. This week, it's Kelly. Hey, Kelly. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Hi, we're glad to have you. Thanks. <laughs> we went through, we're looking through portfolios as, as kind of has become our hobby because we need to find so many people. Mm-hmm. And I looked and I'm like, oh, this person is like the headshot queen. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 you have other things beyond headshots, but your headshots right. are fantastic. Did you just wake up one morning and went, I will image people from the nipples up? <laughs> actually i no matter what i shoot i find myself drawn back to the face so even if i'm shooting fashion i tend to take more headshots in the course of that shoot than anything hmm. it's just i don't know i just see i can see the whole fashion shoot and then i can immediately zoom into the face at the same time and oh, see a totally different perspective but your models love you they're always begging for <laughs> headshots yeah exactly um what what brought you to photography Boredom, <laughs> believe oh. it or not. Oh, really? <laughs> I was sitting yeah. there. Heard me no there other hobbies. <laughs> it was actually I've always worked, and after I had my third child, I had twins and then another girl, and I was at home, and I was literally bored to death. And you so thought, what I, can I spend all of my money on? <laughs> I t- yeah, all my money, all my time. Yes, and my. Actual, my brother went to the University of Iowa here, and he took photography classes. And I called him up, and I said, do you still have your film cameras? And he said, yes. And I said, can I have them? And that was that. Fantastic. How long ago was that? You look very young. Thank you, because I'm not very young. (laughs) Well played. (laughs) Yeah, um, it was, well, the twins are actually in their sophomore year of college so oh my my goodness goodness. (laughs) and I had them late in life too so (laughs) wow I would have guessed you were early 30s at the most thank you I'm actually 46 very good as am I go 70s (laughs) (laughs) she's young Uh, I'm a little younger than that that's it just just a smidge just a little bit (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, as we like to remind everyone, uh, although in this case we don't have nudity in the podcast, we often do. And those images that have nudity get some editing so that they are iTunes and YouTube safe. So if you're watching it on iTunes and YouTube and you're you're like, why are there gray boxes over that person's thingy? <laughs> thingy. Well, <laughs> head on over to thisweekinphotography.com where you can see the unedited podcast and subscribe to it um but setting nudity aside we have our first image Ooh. oh man i love it this is the craziest this is really cool so (laughs) was that a cross in the mouth Yes, it is. It was my cross, actually. Yeah, we were going for something different. We've already done the normal headshots during the the course of the day. And Mm -hmm. I have, if you ever looked in my studio, I have tons and tons and tons of just random stuff. And a lot of times the ideas just pop right in the middle of doing a shoot. So I grabbed the lace and I like black lips. And depending on the day, it was a black lip day. So we went with that. And when we were all done, the cross just seemed like it was going to be the ed, the you know, the best component to it, I guess. It really works. And I love that the jewelry theme spread all the way to the lips. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, I've seen this done before, but I'm curious, if you're doing it in your own studio, how do you make that drop, the black drop from the lips like the that? The black lip, you, you can actually use liquid makeup if you want this particular one was done in photoshop afterwards um everything else was as is and then when the lips were touched up that was added but it's really easy to use uh i have tons of the kind of it's kind of like a goopy black stuff and you can put it down we use glue for milk once too and that worked really well oh that's interesting yeah 
you've gone with a pretty suppressed skin texture, but it really made the texture of the uh, the lace and the lips pop. Right. Mm-hmm. And I presume that was intentional. Yes, it makes it stand out more. Really worked. Yeah, definitely. It is really cool. The I like the hands. Cool the too. hands yeah. are really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. At the same time. She did the perfect placement on the hands. I didn't have to readjust them at all. Mm-hmm. So it's great. Fantastic. You know, some photographers are picky about fingernails and things. Um, do you do you tell all your models to have a certain type of fingernail? If usually nails clean. And like that is preferable if I don't know what I'm shooting. If I have a specific thing in mind and I know they're going to go with it, then I'll actually have them have them done it sometimes. Mm -hmm. But I just like them to be clean in general. So French is good. Yeah, French is good. I think that's what your rule is generally is French. Yeah. I had a uh, photographer friend down in L.A. that he had a a sizable studio and he was renting out. It had a a little... uh, face to a, a mall and he very carefully picked the tenants for his open spaces he made sure to get a makeup artist and a hair salon and a uh, a nail place <laughs> so, so that when nice. a model came in he could be like go there they that, will make space for you super convenient yeah it's like, that's stroke of that brilliance. is nice <laughs> mm-hmm. on to our next image this uh I love the angle and the intention of the image. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you bring in nature to the studio almost. Yes. And I love yeah. shooting outdoors in Iowa. It's, it's endless possibilities to shoot here. Yeah. The winter, not so much. <laughs> Although I've done snow and frozen stuff before. but it, It's very cold here now. I think it's, it, uh, yeah. it's actually below 70. Oh, yeah. It's, it's freezing. It's brutal. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> Actually, the wind Ouch. picked up today. Yes. It was a little chilly at the wind. <laughs> Almost 10 miles an hour. <laughs> it's oh, true. You can't complain. We Don't love, get me wrong. It's going to be cold soon, but man, do we get the advantage. We do. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> uh, did you have to deepen up that red? Because it really, it, it's, it. when I look at the red that her foot's on, it matches. Right, right. It is darkened in the back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What is her foot on? It's actually a piece of the wood that's, yeah. Okay. That's actually a barn and then a little open area. And then there was a piece that was, it's, I think if I remember right, it's been a while, but it was fallen and just kind of placed there. Okay. Or, yeah. Well, it makes her, her legs even more pronounced, which is excellent. Oh, yeah. Was this, yeah, without that, the busyness would swallow the, the foot. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And yes. so the red gives you that nice piece. Uh, I also like the black uh, swimwear versus that black piece of the barn. Mm-hmm. Right. That's good. It yeah. Made it stand out more. So uh, portfolio shoot or just uh, decided That to... was just a fun shoot to help a new model with her portfolio. She had actually, that was her first shoot she had ever done. Wow. She did so, a good job. I know a lot mm-hmm. of photographers don't want anything to do with a new model. I love them. I love finding a blank slate to, I do too. to work with. They're actually more willing and usually in a better mood and they're happy and it's it's a fun shoot. Yeah, mm-hmm. I couldn't agree more. Well, doing this it one every day fun. for a living is... <laughs> yeah, did, did you do this just so you could throw water on your model? Like, you know that. <laughs> the funny story is I didn't do it, my son did. <laughs> really? <laughs> he actually was standing above her with a cup of water dropping it down, yes. Oh, it's so funny. I it... love this image. <laughs> I was looking through all your stuff, and that one popped out so much to me. Yeah, I the love the eyes makeup. Are, the yeah. eyes are awesome. Makeup. The makeup artist nailed exactly what we were looking for. And then, again, this is a model that had never shot before. She came into my house, and when I just had a studio in the kitchen, and we just did headshots, and this is the first shot she'd ever taken. She never did it again. She had a blast, but it wow, was amazing. Why? Why did she not do it again? She's got it. Yeah. I know. <laughs> So um, you mentioned having a studio. What's your primary clientele in the studio? Are you doing family portraiture as well as the the works? or Not anymore. Actually, the last two years, I pretty much transitioned. I'm doing mostly the beauty and fashion work um, and modeling work and some magazine work. And I do high school seniors here. But 
pretty much anything else, I don't like weddings. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can understand that. Weddings drove me out of professional photography. And... Yeah, they can, they can do that. <laughs> you know, you can charge a lot of money, but it's not really worth the work. Well, and it's, <laughs> it is exactly. huge responsibility. Yeah. I have people from, uh, well, uh, I recently got a request for copies of pictures that were 18 years old. Oh my goodness! And and I'm like, well, I'm gonna have to send them out to get scanned. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I had the film, but wow. you know, people feel that they they have a life obligation and connection to a wedding photographer. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. said, if I decided that this is if I wanted photography to become my cash job again, mm -hmm. guess that's what where I'd weddings do. are. <laughs> go yeah, right back to weddings. Go. Yeah. Weddings are where the money is. I would is, find honestly. some wedding planner to help guide my business. <laughs> Hope I don't know where you know find that. Talk to all the people. <laughs> I used to be. I'm not a wedding planner anymore. Oh, <laughs> once a wedding planner, always. You're right. Planner. Actually, it sure it does feel like it follows you forever. <laughs> it's a great picture. I looked at those and they look like wings. I feel like they should have gone ahead and done a body paint dragonfly down her nose. Yeah, that would have been interesting. <laughs> and the water's good. It it. It doesn't, it looks authentic. A lot of times people tweak yeah. their water in Photoshop so much that you're like, did the did the model even get wet? Yeah. <laughs> We're That's here, there's, there's no real doubt. Real water? <laughs> Most people ask me if it is real, and I'm, I'm happy to say, yeah. And that picture, it was very real. And it was hilarious to watch my son do that. He was like nine, I think, at the time. <laughs> oh, it's even better. Like, I'll do it, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll pour it on her. I've got a nine-year-old. This will work out fine. <laughs> uh, oh, lovely image. Oh, this one's so cool. This is your profile picture. Yeah. This is my, yeah, this is Mayhem. my favorite for many reasons. But It is. The dress is crazy. Where did you come up yeah. with that costume? I actually um, searched and bought the entire wardrobe myself. Um, the model, the tall blonde, um, and I put the concept together. Oh. That's Laura New. I don't know if you've heard of her. Um, amazing familiar. model. But the other girl is my daughter. So oh. Excellent. Yeah. So are we talking wigs here? Or yes, did, we uh, are talking wigs. <laughs> I was going to say, man, that is a hard sell. That so we're going to tease your hair tough. just a little bit. <laughs> Can you imagine getting those knots out if that was your real hair? <laughs> no, I have no concept of getting knots out of oh, hair man. at all. <laughs> you have a daughter. <laughs> I leave the house when that time oh, comes. Okay. <laughs> There's actually a full editorial of these images, and my sons are in some of them too. But this was the one that just stood out the most. It was. It's great. It, it is. Yeah. It's beautiful. I, uh, I, I. It defies description in some ways. It's just really <laughs> cool. Mm -hmm. uh, what an interesting concept you know what we need to devoid and avail remember devoid and avail the oh yeah you mean the she artist needs, the she needs to work with, that did all the crazy yes. outfits yeah we have somebody i think is not that far from you that you need to, to work with oh and, yeah yeah and he needs to come back on the show he does well, there's that a lot of guests fun. that we really enjoyed having last uh, in the season. last series. Mm -hmm. Fantastic picture! I love the the tonal quality. I like that you really limited it down. I mm -hmm. mean, if you were to look at the color uh, palette, it's very small. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it it feels, I I God, it, it kind of has a steampunkiness to yeah, it. Yeah, it feel it feels old for sure. Yeah, it feels old and steampunky, but not trapped in the steampunk style it's yeah. got a victorianness about it yeah it's it. a victorian vintage but surreal it's really yeah. Yeah. it's yeah. an acid picture it's <laughs> somebody is taking something that is going to affect them for a while <laughs> very nice oh this oh, one's lace. sweet it's pretty another lace just so this soft one... again I wanted to do something again with the lace, but flip it. It was many years ago when I did the black one. And when this model was here, it was just her and I, which sometimes that happens. And we don't have a makeup artist and her and I and the model. We do everything ourselves. Mm -hmm. And that was the case with this image. But she had flawless skin to begin with. So we didn't have to really do a lot. And then when I placed that on, I said, don't move. Just that's perfect. And 
that was the picture. Very little Photoshop, too. It was pretty much as is, slight adjustments to contrast and stuff. But Beautiful jawline, and yeah. those lips are beautiful as well. You know, yes. Talking about, um, talking about weddings and portraiture in general of the non-modeling world, this is a perfect example. You could take this basic picture and repeat this every week for the rest of your career, and you would have 52 happy customers every year yep. because it's not what they expect. It's very kind to people that are not, let's say, uh, photogenic. Uh, not mm -hmm. as photogenic yeah. as others. Yeah. Yes. Um, everybody, every listener should probably look at this really hard and burn this into the back of your head because this sort of a abstract works. And I don't mean you have to copy this exact thing, but this <laughs> concept of the non-traditional beauty picture, you can take somebody who, and, and I don't want to say there are hideous people out there, but let's face it, there are some clients out there that you get into your office and you're like, how oh, am I going to make you look good? <laughs> how am I going to make this happen? Uh, and, and then be happy about the images. That's, uh, That's the you know, problem. I was asked about my two careers and what I had learned, and I said, well... In the one career, I learned that not all brides are beautiful. In the other one, I learned that all babies are not cute. Oh, man. Actually, most are not. <laughs> yeah. Especially when they're bad. first born. <laughs> but anyway, this is a perfect example of a, a, a really malleable concept. This lace covering, but everybody's got a decent jaw you can work with. And if you bend their head, their, their waddle's going to reduce. I'm not going to say go away. But it is a waddle reducing uh, thing. And then play with the light to adjust people's strengths. In this case, she has all strengths, so you can use all the light you want. Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. So Beautiful it's lovely. Images, yeah. I like the fact that it isn't overly saturated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and God love the models with perfect skin. They are such a rarity. <laughs> yeah. And it's like a gift to the photographer because they open up the, and they go like, oh, I'm done. I don't yeah. have to mess with it. Isn't that nice? <laughs> 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 when I have a, a a model that is got poor skin, which is not their fault, but if they have poor skin or unfortunate tattoos or piercings in places you think probably had not to be pierced, um, all I can see is the hours I'm going to spend in Photoshop fixing it. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. It's true. <laughs> I, I have had models that are like, well, you can just take this tattoo off in Photoshop, right? I'm like, yeah, but I'm not going to hire you because I'm either going to pay someone to do that or I'm going to miss dinner. Yeah, it's going to take forever. Yeah, take the, you're right. I will take less. When, that, that said, there is a time for somebody covered with tattoos. It's great, mm -hmm. but there's also a time not. Yeah. <laughs> This one's crazy and not a headshot, first it's of all. No, kind of Batman y chick kind of thing. I was thinking Catwoman because it's a girl. <laughs> yes. Yeah. There's a bat girl. With dark hair. There's a bat girl? There is a bat oh, girl. Oh, there is a bat girl. Oh, but isn't she a million too DC young? fans just clutch their chest. But, oh, <laughs> but too young, though, for this shot, well, right? Maybe. Maybe she grew up. Later on. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we must get you some comic books. Oh, I'm sorry. I try. I try to keep up on these things. What is she standing on? She's actually standing on one of those troughed things that they fill with water for animals. Oh, right. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm surprised those shoes had what? enough traction. She didn't just sort of <laughs> down the side. Yeah, because it looks like it's flipped over. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Yep. It's like one of those aluminum. It looks like a bathtub almost. Yeah. If I did that, her heels would poke through. <laughs> She'd fall over backwards and I'd be calling an ambulance. Yeah. <laughs> Where is this taken? It's actually in an open field, one of my favorite ones that I love to shoot in. And another reason why I love this shot for me is because a lot of people would think that the entire background or everything is not as it was, but it actually is. Just it's vignetted. The, and... It's just vignetted. And the only real Photoshop, we did crack the skin because it gave it a really cool look. Yeah. But... Everything else, the the background is as it was, yeah. Hmm. Very and cool. what she's standing on in the garbage drip bag dress and, yeah, everything. It oh, looks... that's sure enough. I didn't even put that yeah. two-to-two together. I just thought it was shiny material, but it's a trash bag. Yep, it's a trash bag dress. That works. Um, yeah, it looks like it's kind of under a bridge or 
Yeah, but it's actually in an open field. <laughs> that's pretty cool. What's yeah. what's it? And the it... semi is a semi behind her. Oh, that's, it's gosh, been there okay. for years, and it's parked. And then a couple old trucks, and there's like open fields on the left and the right of her. You know, yeah. just like one of the first images, it was um, where it was the barn one, and you mm -hmm. had the the brush coming up. Same thing with this one. I really like the texture it adds. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. Absolutely. Because it adds the actual outdoor element to what could have been a studio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a neat, neat picture. Love the love the alternative material clothing. And her I, hair I, is going I'm, crazy. I'm well known for yeah. finding something other than what you ought to be wearing to wear. <laughs> um, like no, nothing? <laughs> <laughs> well, some would argue you should be naked more, but um, <laughs> anyway, uh, a great, great image and action filled mm -hmm. and again it, it's kind of got a comic booky kind of feel to it yep classic oh, classic man. beauty very cool it's just a piece of fabric huh just a piece of fabric and again oh. another model that just came with a makeup artist from minnesota had never shot before i was in a black lip day again obviously and a piece of fabric wrapped oh. around the black lip is just so um it, it's so dramatic yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why, I mean, I like my red. I just can't, I have a hard time going without my red lipstick. And for some reason, it's because of that dramatic effect. Ah. You know, something that, that caught my attention immediately and is worthy of pointing out. The cloth that you used, it is uh, very transparent and mm -hmm. only becomes opaque when it gets a couple of layers to it. Mm -hmm. But what you mm -hmm. get out of that is it has depth. It has shape. Mm -hmm. If that was a fully opaque cloth, it would just be a wrap or a yeah. scarf. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here, you look at it, and it has a little allure to it. It lets your imagination run a little. Yeah. Um, I really like that. I like the... it. Boy, you end up pulled right to that eye that's staring right at you. Yeah, how do you get all these brand new models? They literally come to me. <laughs> I don't know how, but um, I meet a lot through school, believe it or not, through my kids, through people they meet, through makeup artists. I've had the luxury of working with many, many makeup artists for years that were just starting and will work for three to five years for, at a time, and they bring people with them, mm -hmm. and or they're always available if I happen to find somebody to shoot, but I, I see people everywhere, so, I yeah. I, I like, like many photographers... <laughs> I have a hard time just, you know, finding somebody going, hey, you, you need your picture taken. Come here. <laughs> um, I, I've got a couple of friends that are, they have no problem. You'll be sitting there eating in the restaurant and, you know, they're like poking the person next in the next booth over going, ever thought of taking your clothes off? Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and bizarrely, a lot of them go, well, now that you mention it. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How did you do that? I always wished before I started modeling that somebody would have approached me because I would have started earlier. That's true. I mean, I had many years that I could have been modeling when I wasn't. And I wish that I was. Life takes you that way. Yes. <laughs> I like this. I guess we could call this a, a That's nude, a semi sort of. It's a semi. It's an yeah. implied. It's implied. It's an implied. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't need any editing for those nice folks at uh, YouTube. Nope. <laughs> well, this is what's convenient about not having large breasts is that you can do an implied like this. Yes. 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 It is. The hair is cool. Yeah. So is the makeup. Is, but the hair is well, cool. Yes, I was <laughs> the hair get, is I'm more working cool. from the top down. <laughs> um, is this a wig that's been pre worked? This is a wig as well. This again is the model Laura that I've worked with a lot. Uh, she always uh, does her own makeup and her own hair. But the great thing when I work with her is she listens to my ideas and concepts and brings them to life too. So nice. Yeah. It is uh, obviously a very interesting image. Um, I find it interesting that she's sort of looking out of frame. Of course, that breaks mm -hmm. every rule and every, every rule. <laughs> and yet it still works just fine because her expression is of detachment. And forlorn almost. And forlorn. Yeah. So when you break the rule of having somebody look into the negative space, because one of the reasons why some of those rules of composure work is you know you put more space in front of where somebody's looking because you want to 
uh, feel what they're feeling. And generally, it's an inclusive feeling. Here, the person is feeling forlorn. You don't want to feel inclusive with them. You want to understand their despair. They're mm -hmm. not right. And this works to do that very well. It's an important lesson that I think uh, people miss because they're, they're too worried about their spirals and things and mm -hmm. yeah. two thirds and one thirds and stuff. She's also breaking the hand rule. Yes, Here. she is. And it still looks great. Yeah, you, you break the rules because you don't want the viewer to feel happy. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one makes me happy, though. This one does make you happy. <laughs> Absolutely. It looks like a shoe advertisement. Well, and, and again, this is a perfect juxta juxtaposition of the two images where this follows many of the rules. The hands are right. The yeah. colors are bright. She's got the space in front of her. She's got the show leg bent. You, She's want, got... to, you want to be in this picture. Uh huh. This picture, oops, wrong one. <laughs> this picture, you don't want to be in this. You want to see this and go, wow, oh, I, I'll, 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 I'll not be here. Yeah. And <laughs> so, this next one, you're like, I want to go this play one, in that Yeah, field. you're like, i hang hanging yeah. out with this person. Yeah, let's go skip around. So <laughs> Do cartwheels. <laughs> I, it's one of the reasons I put them to get together is is they have such a different message, stark contrasts, yeah, of ideas and vision. The, the only thing that's a little weird is it feels like it's it's very crooked. Oh yeah, but I think, the skyline. I think, I think yeah. the world might be crooked at that point, so we're good. <laughs> She's on a hill. See yeah. those bales of hay? They were rolling. The bales, <laughs> the bales them. of hay reorient your brain <laughs> enough, and that cloud that is level, so that it's not upsetting. Yeah. But if those weren't there, if the hay bales were a little crookeder and the clouds were a little crookeder, people would be like, do you not have the slider? Yeah. <laughs> was this taken on a hill like that in incline? It was actually taken on, and I'm trying to think of how the hay was placed. It was on a slight hill, yeah. Okay. Um, this actually was a model. I've worked with a lot of new models and a lot of sign models. This is actually one that is from New York and signed, but actually her mother lives in Iowa City. So she looked me up and I got the opportunity to shoot with her just a few, well, this summer. And we did a whole bunch of editorial images. Did you have like that a were... good eight days of summer over there? Oh, well, no longer than that. <laughs> actually, it was still 55 today, surprisingly. Oh, that's not oh. terrible. But, yeah. Well, it, it's coming though. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> she is obviously beautiful, and she knows what she's doing. And we were talking earlier about um, uh, on on a previous cast about people aging well, and I will bet that she ages beautifully. I bet she will. She's very graceful as it is. Yeah. And she doesn't look like she's super young either. No. But she has some maturity to her that's in a good way. It's yeah. a beautiful maturity. Yeah. She's she's uh, she's got good legs. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> I really like the lace scallop uh, scalloping on yeah. the on the bottom yeah, of the you, gown. You seem to like yeah, the lace. I, love that. I do. I like the lace. I like. I wear lace a lot. I like. I it. like so lace too. I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing. It's beautiful. It is a good thing, especially black lace. It's beautiful. It, it goes is. up against your skin so nicely. It's, it's a lovely image. Yeah. It's got nice light. Did you did you do much in the way of reflectors or anything to fill, or is it pretty much um, shot as is? No, not on this one. This was shot as as is, and um, I do kind of break a lot of rules shooting outside because I tend to like to shoot in the harshest time of day when I'm doing the fashion. Hmm. So I just kind of watch how the light's hitting them to make sure, and it's not way too much, but it gives that extra pop without having to use a light. Yeah, so. I'm looking under her chin at the angle of light, and boy, just mm -hmm. a few degrees towards mm -hmm. center image, and her face would have fallen apart with a big shadow next to her nose. Yep. Yep. I mean, th there's a lot more thought going into this. It, it, you know, at first you're like, oh, postcard snap, and then you're like, yep. oh no, somebody had to work at this. Mm -hmm. Yep. You have to get them in position, and I always get them there, and then I'm like slowly moving their face until I'm like, okay, yeah, there, and that will work, yeah. and it, yeah. I had a shot many years ago, oh, maybe maybe 2005, where I was shooting a couple. And I realized, and I just saw it for a moment, that if everything was right, the shadow on her face became the silhouette of a woman. Whoa. Wow. And I'm like, put your hand back up there. And, and, and they must have thought I was crazy because I'm like, okay, you have to turn one degree here yeah <laughs> and and i shot it and it worked 
and and it's a private image, so I can't show it to you. But oh. um, anyway, it worked. It, it generated this shadow that was a full right down to the foot huh. pin up shadow. That and, is so uh, cool. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. That would be amazing. Nice, <laughs> yeah. Nice image. <laughs> Ooh, I like the skin t- the skin tone on this this woman. She's yeah. very very white, and I like that. Mm-hmm. What is on her face? The yeah. gold leaf. It gold, is gold leaf. leaf. We, we were just little, talking about that. We, we have just, done a little gold leaf. Recently. We were just shot with gold leaf a couple of weeks ago. I see a packet of it right there. Oh yes, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> this was the first time I've ever used it, and I wanted to use it on her and. The funny thing about this shot, which a lot of my shots and headshots end up being a shot in between or at the end when we think we're done, her hair was up to begin with. And we shot an entire series and the makeup artist was taking her hair out. She turned and was sitting in the kitchen and I said, stop, don't move. Mm -hmm. Because it fell just the way, I mean, it was perfect. And that was the shot I took. In the kitchen or did you move her back to the studio? Nope, in the kitchen, right where she was. Moved everything to her. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Don't move. And took the shot, yeah. Nice. Uh, sometimes hair makes or breaks the shot, and I think it really made this one. I like that, that that her eyes, her eye makeup, and then the gold leaf is almost like a spectrograph of color. And it, it's, it... It works in a way that that I, I'm hoping was uh, intentional, but it really covers the spectrum. And because the rest of the image has just these blacks and browns and sort of nondescript tones, man, your eyes just lock on her eyes mm-hmm. instantly. Mm-hmm. Really does the nice job. It's very focus. Your focus always goes straight to the eyes. <laughs> yeah. I tend to... Uh, saturate people's eye colors just a little extra because it <laughs> tends to get people to go, wow, that person really has fill in the blank colored eyes. Mm-hmm. Is that and a color? It is. Fill in the blank? Fill in the blank. <laughs> fill in the it's, blank. It's oh, wow. All of the colors. Oh, is it, so it's like mucky brown. <laughs> oh, that's not quite how I saw it, but not all of the colors. Oh, is it a quarter of each color? Uh, yes. That would be really interesting. <laughs> Whatever works for you. That's what it is. <laughs> like an apple pinwheel. Yes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this lady, this this lady, this yeah. model is so gorgeous. The 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 blue surround framing the image, and then the hair layering that you know same shape, and mm-hmm. then the eyes pulling in some blue. It's this is like National Geographic, the Caucasian edition. Exactly, oh. that's what I was feeling like. <laughs> Like that one very famous yes. picture. Yes. Absolutely. Mm. Except this is prettier. This is prettier. <laughs> it's a different this kind is, of pretty. This is a model that actually was from Iowa when I met her. And in this picture, you would not believe she's only 14, the first shoot I ever did. Um, but after we did this in another shoot, she was signed by Ford in Chicago. So Wow. So she's 14 yeah. in this image. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yeah. You don't have any idea how much stress that puts on a parent to have a kid. Yes. <laughs> My foster yeah. daughter is just ridiculously pretty. And I had to clean a lot of shotguns to keep her safe, let yeah. me tell you. <laughs> Gorgeous shot, though. Yeah. I shot her with gold leaf as well in oh, this lovely. picture here. It's quite amazing. Um, and going away from skin tones altogether. <laughs> yeah, fully white. I love this image so much. Again, because this is my daughter. So, oh, and there's a fun story behind it. Well, actually, it was her idea, and we were bored, and we were waiting for another model to get ready and shoot. And she's like, "Well, let's do something." And we had a friend over, and I'm like, "Well, here, I have this white stuff. I want to white your face out. That I know." Okay, so they went outside and they whited her face out. And they came in. I said, I have all this paint and paintbrushes. Go outside, flick it all over you. They went outside, they flicked it all over, came back in. And I'm like, okay, perfect. And wrapped the scarf on her head. Mm. And that was it. Awesome. How old is she in this photo? (laughs) In this photo, she was probably 14 because she's going to be, she's a senior now in 18. She has very nice proportions to her face. Very. Yeah. I really like the artistic thing, though, the whole the, only the eyelashes and the paint. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. 
And then the sort of ice blue treatment to the eyes yeah. mm-hmm. works with the paint Definitely. nicely. It brings out the colors. Absolutely a good image. And framed, again, pull in nice and tight. All of those rules of compensation are meaningless because <laughs> you're in so tight. As it should be, I might add. Back outside. Yes. Oh, this is fun. Ooh, I love the wardrobe on this one, too, and that hair. I'm just yeah. guessing that's not natural. Oh, I'm pretty sure that that's not natural. No. I would say that's a wig. Is that a wig? It is a wig. And we actually, I pulled the outfit together for her, and I had the wig, and we picked it. And then when she came out, I was like, that's just not enough. We need something else. And I looked over at the pink hat, and I'm like, here, put this on. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> now we can go. <laughs> uh, it just has to be so outrageous. I like. Did you adjust the colors of the pinks to get them closer, or did it just work out? It just worked out in this one. Everything, again, this was shot in a not-so-friendly time of day, but it makes that extra pop, and again, she has to be placed where it's not going to have really bad, shadowy stuff all over her, and mm-hmm. that angle was the best. So, I like how it does. It makes her... Um... Her neck disappear completely, yep. but in a way that frames her face so well that it just stands out. Yeah, the shooting in the midday sun, and I'll be honest, I avoid it like the plague, <laughs> yeah. only because it's not that it can't be done, it's hard. It is. It is. So, oh, you're not lazy. Are you the least lazy person <laughs> I've ever met? Oh, it, it, it's a beautiful image. It's the, the tire... At the I think that's is that a tractor tire? It's another yep, two tractor tires. Okay. Hmm. It's an interesting thing. Now I think about I have a few of those on the other side of the studio wall here, and now I suddenly feel the need to use them. To use them. <laughs> I uh, I ha- of course, like everybody, I have a tractor, even though I live in a oh, neighborhood. Yeah, and I have a tractor. No, I do not have a you tractor. You don't have a tractor? But no, you can borrow my spare tractor. This. You have a couple big tractors, Yeah, too. well, I've got some little ones, too, that I've used in in my events and for yeah. photography reasons. Although I didn't buy them for photography reasons, but farm <laughs> stuff just looks so good. Oh, it's, some it's, of my favorite shots are done north or like Napa Valley, I would imagine. Yeah. But it's all in those in the fields with uh, with all the tractor equipment. Gotta the bigger, it. the better. And the more decrepit and rusty yeah. and oh, yeah, been definitely. used. You know, nobody goes to the tractor dealer and goes, can I borrow that shiny tractor to take <laughs> yeah. a picture on? No, it has no. to be rusted and broken and yeah. Yeah, well, just held together with bailing wire. And... <laughs> yeah, so much more character then. Oh, definitely. I found you a guy. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Is this the I've first? I've heard you like guys. That's the first. <laughs> I, I mean, like photographically. Everyone, and, and but yes, yes. I, I do appreciate both the female and male form. Yes. Well, this is, you, you almost can't make out his form, but upon study, he appears to be an attractive young man. It does he look is. that way. Yes. <laughs> he actually has a really nice blessed tattoo on one side. And yeah, he's he's good figure and everything. Very tall, very handsome. Yes. Oh, he did the, the whole dark <laughs> again and cross. And that, that body painting, it it is interesting in that it almost completely obscures the model and yet mm-hmm. it forces you to really look. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, you have to really focus on it. We wanted to do the body painting. I've been wanting to do it for a while. And this was the first male model that I had that wanted to do an extreme look and go that direction. Mm -hmm. And he loved the cross picture I did of the female. Ah. So I was trying to think of a way to spin it with him. So I bought this new cross at Hobby Lobby. I can't go shopping anywhere without buying tons of stuff. (laughs) But and bought the selection of colors for the body paint and gave it to the makeup artist and kind of told her what I was trying to do. And this is what we got. It looks like a sponge almost. You know, this reminds me of Avatar. Yeah, oh. I see a little Avatar. Yeah, just, a, just a little bit. Just need to make that a little greener. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the splotchiness, though. There's something that's different about it. It is fun. definitely cool. Looks like it was a good time. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it was a fun time. <laughs> And this image, I saved this for last because if you're tired, you just put this on the screen. You will be awake. Awake, yes. That's (laughs) true. Oh, man, the vibrant yellow. It is so vibrant. (laughs) And you've tied together all of the the yellows, which is nice. 
I've never seen a redhead look great in yellow. Oh. And it, it can totally go works. horribly wrong. But in this yeah. case, there's so much yellow. Yeah. Uh, the, I, I don't know. I think maybe when people wear yellow with redhead, it doesn't work. But no. I think the yellow background does work. Agreed. Mm -hmm. And Agreed. then the, the blue rim around the eyes, because it's the only blue in the whole scene, I think you really see it. You really focus on it. Definitely. Her I also eyes like, and her hair is so beautiful. Yeah, I, I appreciate and. And I'm a person who likes to leave a lot of texture in skin, but mm -hmm. this again has been brought down a little. Yes. And it not so much that it's not a plastic doll look, which of course right. is horrible. Mm -hmm. But um, <laughs> it's it's brought down enough that it it does focus your attention, and I think this is this is an example of a very thoughtful treatment of skin that Seven. we don't see enough of. Look at how long her neck is. How yeah. straight down. All the angles work for her. This was actually really fun again because it was just in my kitchen and we didn't have a makeup artist again that day. So I did everything for her. And oh, wow. we were going through the concept and the clips in the hair just happened to be the clothespins sitting on the table. And as soon as I turned around, she goes, you're going to use those, aren't you? And I'm like... <laughs> Yeah, I am. <laughs> so. She should be thankful. How old is this model? Um, she's probably much older now. At the time I shot her, she was still even in her early twenties. But she, she it's looks been... very youthful. She looks yeah, fifteen. She, yeah. yeah. <laughs> very, very nice. I, yes. It's just a captivating picture. I really do like the clothes fans. They're just fun. I do yeah. too. <laughs> they just add some kind of funkiness that is just perfect. I need to go hang out in your kitchen. That's the only conclusion I've come <laughs> I to know, in this interview. You know, my kitchen Creative. has so much fun stuff. <laughs> it's good, good times. Well, what are your plans for the future now? What are you going to do with your career next? Well, I actually just came back from a trip to Amsterdam, and I had an art show, actually, with some of my extreme work over there. Fun. So I'm looking to try and do that here in the States and possibly in New York and Chicago, too, yeah. in the next few years, and continuing working in a lot of the model stuff that I do. Um, I want right. to put a book out and just a lot of things I want to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sounds well, like it. I, uh, this, this last summer went to the out of Chicago conference, Ooh. which I strongly encourage. And maybe next time I go there, I will make a side trip, come visit. Cause it'd be fun oh, to you shoot can. with you. You guys are welcome anytime. Or that even be better. Fun. You could come to out of Chicago where oh, I, yeah. I suspect we will be. It's. <laughs> Uh, for anybody who has missed out of Chicago, it is a relatively new, fantastic photography conference. You, um, it's held in downtown Chicago, shockingly. And I love Chicago. <laughs> it is uh, eight hours a day of classes. You're, you know, you're in ninety minutes here, ninety minutes there, with some amazingly good photographers. And then uh, they do like photo walks where you're walking around the city shooting. It's it's a great time. And Chicago, I had not been to, is pretty great. I love mm -hmm. Chicago. Chicago is awesome. <laughs> How close are you to Chicago? Uh, four hours, really. Not bad. It's not that far. That's, yeah, that's a little ways. I'm in Chicago a couple times a year. I really like awesome. it there. Yeah. You guys need to shoot together. Maybe sometime. we can. My niece lives in Chicago, so whenever I want to go, I have access to her entire house. And Ooh, I yeah, like it. and she's right in a really, really neat neighborhood in the middle of. Yeah, it's nice. nice. We have a a place in Chicago. Uh, that we're able to stay. Not we don't own it, <laughs> um, but it's also in a great location. So maybe that's something yeah, to think cool. about. I would so love that. What's What's the best place if somebody wants to keep tabs on your work? Um, there's always Model Mayhem, but I'm on Facebook and my website actually is brand new and up and running. So and Beauty and Art by Kelly. Excellent. It's www Beauty and Beauty and Art by Kelly.com. Absolutely. And thanks again to our sponsors, our guests, and This Week in Photography for making this podcast possible. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube, iTunes, or check out our unedited episodes on ThisWeekInPhoto.com. We'll see you next time on Twip Glam. Bye bye. <laughs>